My name is Roger Johnson, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Excel Importer plugin. I'd like to start by specifying that this plugin is purchased separately from Sigmanest and can be added to a variety of different seats as an add in to your current setup. For more information, please contact your Sigmanest sales representative. What are the steps? First things first, I'll show you how to set up the Excel document itself. Next, we'll talk about how to put specific parts in that Excel for easy importing. After that, we'll take a look at navigating the actual plugin itself. And lastly, we'll use our newly created Excel file to import parts into our workspace. Although there are mandatory fields that Sigmanest needs to import parts into the workspace, such as the part name, the material, the thickness, and the import path, there are many other pieces of information that you may want to import as well. As you can see, all of the items in the bulleted list have a corresponding section in the part parameters window. And all of these pieces of information can be imported directly into Sigmanest via the Excel import. We will want to make sure that we definitely include all of our mandatory fields. Then from there, I can add in fields that I would like for my part to have included. Uh, you can see that I've added revision number. I've also added the remark field, which would be where I put some additional notes on this part. If there's anything specific I would like to say about it. The part data field one, which I can then add in later to represent a column for whether or not it's going to be going to, let's say, bending. I have the work order, whether or not that part is associated with one. The grain itself, whether or not I'm going to be using grain. Angle type, which would be absolute or incremental. The angle itself that I would like that type to be applied to, so five degrees, 15 degrees. Whether or not I allow common line, and whether or not I allow mirroring. I would like to take a moment to briefly explain the import path. This will be the location that the part file is physically located, whether this be on a network, in a drive, or in my case, on my local computer. Now that I have my list of parts and I know where they're all located, I can continue on with the Excel creation. From here, you just fill in the additional information that you would like the part to have. Now that we have the field set up, this is as easy as going to each cell in each column and filling out the information manually. There are options with certain MRP ERP systems to output work order parts in Excel file format. If you have this available to you, then this Excel file will be created by that system automatically. And all that will be left for you to do is to load that information into Sigmanest for importing. The Excel Import Plugin button can be located on the ribbon of the Workspace tab. Click the plugin to get started. Once you have the plugin open, the first thing that you'll want to do is load in the Excel file that you would like to use. We'll be using the Excel file that we set up earlier. Hit the Load File button and then navigate to the folder that's actually holding that file. From there, you'll want to click the Excel file in question and hit Open. After you import an Excel file and load it into the plugin, you'll see it listed in the Recent Files window. Select the correct Excel file from the window and then double click. If there are multiple sheets in the Excel document, you will get a pop-up asking you which sheet you would like to import the parts from. As you can see, the options for sheet number directly correspond to the separate sheet tabs in Excel. These will be named according to the sheet names that you have in the Excel document itself. Now that you've highlighted the Excel file, you can start mapping the information that you're pulling from the Excel file to the appropriate part data fields by clicking the corresponding dropdowns. You may notice abbreviations in the dropdowns for these fields, such as THK for thickness. That is perfectly acceptable. Just make sure to map it to the appropriate item data fields. 
there are two tabs in the Excel importer. Make sure that you check both tabs for additional information that may be needed to import from the Excel file. In my case, my grain settings, common line, as well as any possible auto text settings are all found inside of the grain tab. When you're finished selecting which part fields are looking for what information, click the import button to finish the process and import the parts into the workspace. Once you hit the import button, you will get a notification of any errors that may have occurred. If this says that all parts imported correctly, then you're good to go. As an example, here I have given the Excel file the wrong information as to where this part exists. When I hit the import button, you can see an error occurs. The Excel file only had one part in it, and it clearly states that one part did not import correctly. It also tells me what error occurred to cause this issue. Part error, file not found. And then it lists the location it was told this part exists in. This will allow me to use this information to go into the Excel file, correct the issue of the address of that file, and then re-import that part. You always want to make sure that all the information that you put into the workspace imported correctly. Make sure to check both the Part tab and the Grain tab. There are many other plugins that the Sigma Tech team has worked hard on to ensure that you are working as efficiently and effectively as possible when you work with Sigma Tech products. Keep an eye out for other webinars, emails, and updates from the Sigma Tech team by signing up for the newsletter at the Connect site. Go to connect.sigmanest.com. For more information on purchasing Excel importing or any other plugins you may be interested in, please reach out to your Sigma Tech sales representative. If you have any questions, please let us know by asking them now or by reaching out to our support team.